we're going to take our Losi Micro B and we're going to turn it into one of these. Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, we made a trip down to the States. We went to grab a hack fad uh, modified body. We're going to take this little Losi Micro B and we're going to turn it into something that looks a little bit more like that. So we can do some oval track racing this winter downstairs in the basement. We're building a track, so can't wait to show you. We did do a little track for this, and then we decided, you know what? We just want to go left. So that's what we're going to do. We went down. We grabbed this hack fab body, like we said. And we grabbed another set of tires, so that way we can get these skinnies off the front. Get a big old set of fat ones on there. That way, she's ready to look like a regular old modified. So give me a couple of minutes. We'll change the camera around. We'll figure out what's inside this package and how we can get it together. So we'll set these tires aside for a few minutes until we need those. I guess we'll get the car out of the way as well. We'll get this package open. So if you don't already follow HackFab on Facebook or, you know, make sure you do because uh, they're just a little company that we found on Facebook. And man, everything we've seen looks amazing. So we couldn't wait to try one of their little bodies. So it looks like it comes in a few pieces here, obviously. Looks like we got some new mounts and some Velcro, some screws, all sorts of little things to put this thing together. So there we go. Obviously the main shell for this thing. No instructions or anything, but I'm going to assume that we're going to be uh, lining up these holes. You'll be able to see right here on the side. There's three holes there, three holes there. We're going to be lining up these holes on either side. We'll get the package open here. You'll see, comes with a bunch of little plastic screws and nuts. So that's what we'll be able to hold the body on with. There's a bunch of other little parts in here as well. I'm gonna assume these are for the, the body. So that way we can put the mounts on, make them raise it up a little bit. These are probably gonna be the little body mounts as well that we're gonna need. A Bunch of new screws and stuff. So give us a few minutes. We'll get this body at least thrown together. Get this car, get this one pulled apart. We'll figure out how to get this thing put together. All right, so here we have it. Nice, really simple, easy design. Went together in, you know, five minutes flat. Just perfect. I mean, it's a little hard to see, obviously, because it's clear. But this is a beautiful little body that Half Fab makes. Not a sponsored video or anything like that. But man, this is the first thing from these guys. Definitely is not going to be the last thing. That's for sure. This is a really good little body. I got it. I can't wait to uh, get it all finished up. So next, we'll get this thing stripped down. I know the wing's coming off, body's coming off, obviously. A few other things, get the tires on. And then uh, we'll figure out how we get these little mounts put on. They got these little mounts here, some little hardware and stuff. So I figure it's got to go on somehow. So let's figure it out together. All right, so I think I got to figure out what we need to do and what all our parts and things are here on the table. So obviously, we've got to take the wing off. And that's what this little block here is for, this little black block. It's going to place it on top of here. You've got some longer screws down here on the table. There's some longer ones and shorter ones. So we're going to be using the long ones for the back and the short ones for the front. And then that's going to place this little circle pad here at the back. We'll be able to screw on top of that. And then we'll be able to take our Velcro mounts and attach the body to it. And then for the front, Hopefully you can see down in here, down in the front, there's one screw here and one screw here. They're kind of holding the uh, the shock tower on there. They have these two little look like extensions. There's a screw a bit on one end and then there's another piece there that's gonna allow us to screw that little tiny screw in, which is gonna hold this plate on right in here and behind, which is then gonna hold the body on. So I think it's pretty simple. So obviously all we're going to do here first, we'll get this wing off and out of the way. Get everything set to the side. Make sure you find a spot in your toolbox to keep it. So that way, if you ever want to turn it back, you can. So like I said, this little block here looks like she's just going to sit on there. I think it doesn't matter either way. 
And there's going to be these long screws and this little circle plate. So let's see, we'll get these screws through here. Get this plate attached. So there we go. Screws are on. Should be able to just kind of set it in place here. And there we go. Pretty simple design. We're going to screw it in just a little bit more to tighten it up. But there you go. Just attaches to the back wing there. Nice and easy design. So the next thing we're going to do, like I said, is replace these two little front screws with these two little metal braces. They're going to screw in and allow us to screw this plate on. So we'll get these screws out. We'll just do one at a time. There we go. That one's screwed into place. We'll go ahead and do the other side. It's a pretty good little simple kit from HackFab. If you're, you're looking to do something with your micro B, definitely the way to go, I think. At least if you're looking to turn it into a little micro oval car like we are. There we have it. They're both put into there. Then we're going to take this little plate and it's going to screw on right here. Is it there? Let me think for a second. Yeah, definitely goes this way. And make sure when you're doing the plate, they're, uh, they're recessed on one side. So make sure you have the recessed part put up. Then once again, it comes with a couple little screws. There we go, screwed in there nice and tight. Little plate there, little circle plate on the back. So before we go ahead and cut out the side windows and stuff on this, we're gonna take our little pieces of Velcro here, and by the looks of it, we can use whatever we want. One here. So obviously one's gonna go back here on the little circle here, one on the other side. Like so. And then one up here on the front on that little circle. Just like so. Pretty, pretty nice and simple. So now that we got the Velcro on the, uh, the car, we're going to take a couple of these pieces of Velcro. We'll start with the front here. We'll just get it stuck onto here so that way. We know it's exactly where we want it. Then there's this little fold down piece here. That's where it's gonna stick to. So we'll kind of make sure that we can get our back lined up to where we want. See if we can get our front lined up. And get, oh, just, just stuck to the edge of it there. Get that folded underneath. Not quite. Guess that's why they give you an extra one, just in case. So we get that folded up right where we want it. 
There we go. Oops, we'll push that down. Push it into place, just like that. Which I think we're gonna have to move it up just a hair. So next, we're just gonna kind of flip this out of the way and we'll get these ones put on. We'll just turn her off to the side here so we don't get anything stuck where we don't want it. Like so, and like so. Get ourselves lined up. And there we go. There we have it. The body is on. I think we can velcro this here now just a little bit just to be able to adjust our body a little forward a bit just like so we're gonna kind of hold hold on the front and just set it in there you can set it side to side a little bit adjust your body really really nice simple design so next thing we're gonna do well guess is start ripping this thing apart so we can start cutting some uh, windows into this thing. So we'll get her peeled off the back. It's nice, it lets you flip it forward. That little flap on there. Peel it off out of the way. And one thing I didn't show you, once we take it apart to get it painted, it does come with a really nice, get it peeled off here, really nice protective film over it. So it, that's really nice for them to do that. You know, keep all the scratches off it while you're playing and building and cutting. So, we'll get that thing out of the way. We'll be getting these tires on soon. So the next thing I guess we're gonna do, we're gonna go find ourselves a nice thin marker. We're gonna get this thing traced out. We're gonna get ourselves some side windows cut. So we've gone ahead and got the body all taken apart. We've already done the one side. We've used our ruler here. We'll try and get our hand in behind it so you can see our scratch line that we've done with our pencil. We've done a nice straight line across here and a straight line down here. A little curve here. We're going to use this body line here. And we'll just come up and have a nice little curve here following the body. And that's going to be our window cutout. So it's uh, pretty simple as what we did. We just went here with our body line. We lined up with a corner. We're just eyeballing it. The sides aren't going to be perfect. We know that. But hey, you can only see one side at a time, right? So we just took our pencil here. Kind of scratched our line in up to the top. And we just followed the roof line. Went along to the back. And then we just curved it off with the side. Here with that little curve. And then strip, did a little angle off to there. We're gonna use that line there. Oh, and there you go. Hopefully you can see there our little scratch line. That's where our window is gonna be cut out. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll get the body put back together, get the front tires on and have this thing looking like a micro mud boss. <laughs> So there we have it. Step one of making this little Losi Micro B into an oval car is done. This hack fab body, amazing. If that's uh, something you're looking to do, I would definitely say go visit them. You can find them on Facebook or find them online at hackfab.com. We'll put, uh, put their links in the description of this video. Not a sponsored video or anything, but man, these guys do a great job with their stuff and uh, we'll definitely be getting some more from them in the future. So next week, or our next video, I guess, We've got some stuff from Enjora. 
We got some oil filled shocks to put on this thing and some carbon fiber shock towers that should really help out with the ride in this thing. So that's what we're going to be doing next. And obviously we got to get this thing painted as well. So if you're not already a subscriber, you can hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that bell, that way you get all the new videos. Any comments? We want to know how to paint this thing. Should we paint it by hand? Should we grab some spray paint? Let us know. What should we do to this thing? Should we paint it up like someone's car? Like maybe a Dale Earnhardt car? You let us know in the comments. We want to hear from you. And if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. So thank you so much, and we'll see you again soon.